Hey guys, Kev here, and it's truck unboxing time. What do we got? I don't know. So, check it. A little bit freaked out. Not freaked out. Nervous, sad. Um, my kid is, uh, she's almost three. She'll be three in July. And, uh, you know, COVID, it's been interesting. But we've spent literally every day with this kid, except for when I've gone to some shows you know, I've spent a few nights away, but my wife was always with her. So tonight she's going to stay at her grandparents. Uh, my dad's out of town, so it'll be my mom. She offered to have her stay over because, you know, they want to be involved. They see her like every day. I bring her by and we hang out for a couple hours after work. Um, and um, she offered to, you know, watch her overnight. And, you know, she's like, you guys can go out or whatever. Like, you know, we literally never do that because we're just always with our kid and uh so we're gonna go to dinner tonight my wife my mom is gonna watch her so it should be interesting but you know we're a little nervous we got like a little bag packed up for her we've been talking about it all day like what what we need and i'm like man we're really we have no lives you know like our kids like what are you gonna do <laughs> like shut up <laughs> anyway uh I don't know why I felt like sharing that, but I got like four packages. I, a couple of them, I don't know what they are. So let's get into it. I'm gonna unbox it with the Giant Mouse Ace Atlier. This is the full titanium version. You guys may have seen by now my unboxing and my disassemblies. And um, I feel like I mostly got the lock stick. I mean, it's still there. It's still not like comfortable to disengage because it's just a very like tight feeling. And then on top of that, you add the shitty lock bar access, you know? But I really like this knife and I want to love it. So I'm really trying, you know? The uh, green canvas one is actually solid. It's really good. Uh, I think if I were to keep both or one of these, like I really do like the. I would probably get this milled out to get a little more access in there and maybe see if they could fix that lock up. And then, you know, this would be fucking amazing if it just didn't have that little bit of tightness and it didn't have um, shitty lock bar access. But even with that, I'm loving it. So, you know, this is from a uh, Brandon. I don't know what it is. I think it's for Josh Worth. Yes, so he bought an Olamic. So this is the Wayfarer. I hate this model. Why does why do people like this model? Ah. <coughs> My God, this thing is so hideous. What what are you guys doing? Like wh why? Uh, my good buddy Jake Bearded Gear, he fucking loves this knife. And I just don't know why. Uh, I will admit, this is a good example of it. Um, very good action. Great detent. It does have a late detent, though. Look at that. It has a ramp, but it hits, like, right here. Holy shit. So, that flipper tab's not even close to past yet. I mean, look at that. There we go. So, yeah, really great. No, just kidding. It's cool. Um, I've just never been into these sort of pistol grip knives, and a lot of people like them. I just don't. Um, but this one's really nice. I mean, you got this uh, cracked ice look with blue and then this inlay of uh, raffir, something like that. It's very nice. Very, very, very nice. Um, I just don't understand the, the love for it. Uh, there you go. You can flick it. Yeah, not for me, but there it is. So just waiting on a couple things for him. And then I'll uh, be sending him a big old package, it looks like. This one's from uh, Bastion Pens. So I always got them confused with uh, Bastion Knives. They're not the same, I guess. I don't think, um, but they offered to, uh, send me a pen to review. And I was like, you know what? Sure. Because I am kind of putting together a video of all the sort of premium pens that I can get. Um, 
And I have like five or six at this point. I'm waiting on a couple more to come in and then I'll be good to go um, to do the video. It's gonna be fun if you're into pens. But um, so they offered to send, the, uh, send me this pen. They let me pick one. They do have an affiliate program, but I told them I, you know, I can't sign up for your program until I actually handle the pen and know if it's good or not. Now, this video is gonna post two or three weeks down the line. So there may be an affiliate link down in the description. You can take a look. It does help the channel. I think you even get a discount with that, but I'm not positive. Um, but we'll see. If I like it enough, then I'll do that. Or if I remember, you know what I mean? So. Anyway, nice box, a little magnetic clasp, and we're working with the titanium bolt action here. They make their own refills, I think, but they look just like Parker refills, so I'm hoping, obviously, I'm hoping it fits that. Um, it has a bit of a unique look to it, so there's a, obviously a seam right here, but it's very, very well machined. Holy shit. Yeah, like I can barely see that seam and they're not even hiding it with like gimmicks and stuff. Like it's just gone. That's really nice. Um, nice clip. Very interesting, just kind of bullet shaped pen. Um, <whistles> Damn, son. That's got some action. It's interesting. It doesn't, um, it's not like a lot of pens where you just kind of tap it and it pops back over. You have to kind of pop it under. You have to get it over to get it to pop back. But that spring in there. Yeah, it's interesting. I gotta get used to the fact that it doesn't just swing. It's kind of a U shape. You go down and over, down and over, down and over, down and over. You don't, I'm used to coming on an angle. Like I'm used to just going like, and it'll come down and over. But on this, you gotta actually go down and over, down and over, you know what I mean? I know that sounds weird, but it, uh, I like it. I like it quite a bit. Uh, tip exposure, very important factor on a pen for me, is excellent. We have excellent exposure of that tip. It comes out nice and far. Let's just take a look at this refill. I want to make sure it's a Parker. I would really be pissed if it didn't fit a Parker. Uh, it looks right. It looks right. So hopefully, um, hopefully it fits a Parker refill but if it's a ballpoint and writes well then you know that's fine too if their own refill is a ballpoint man this is really nice i'm digging this i need some paper here um this was my i don't know if you guys remember i was messing with alex steingraver and i was i i drew an outline of the fsd that's what that's from <laughs> Yeah, it does seem to be a ballpoint, and it writes well. So uh, I dig it. I dig it. This is cool. All right. Um, that is the Bastion pen. Let me put that back in here because uh, I don't want to, you know, lose it or anything. And then I think we have a couple of strops. This one's from my, oh, no. I don't know what this one is, so I'm gonna do that one last. These two are leather related. So this one is from Peter. He is a, a local knife dude, local knife buddy. We met up at NYCKS. Uh, he lives like 30 minutes from me. And uh, he makes these 3D printed strops. I don't know if I showed the first one yet. I think it was I think it was in a video I did, but then I scrapped the video for another reason. But 
really cool stuff. So he makes these 3D printed straps. This one I believe is a two inch wide. The first one I had was uh, one inch, one and a half wide. It's got some weight to it. It wasn't as heavy before because he's come up with a cool system. So basically it's 3D printed, right? And this pops onto here, right? Doesn't come off. It looks like there's some kind of magnets or something in there. Then you can flip it over here and it'll pop in like this. So now you have your strop. He now has nicer uh, leather in here, some kind of horse leather. I don't know if it's horse butt or just horse leather, but check it. He now added a system where it's magnetic. So now you can have a strop. Let's say you wanna have, you can write it right on the back here. You have your 15 micron uh, emulsion on here. And then you wanna slap on your, uh, your, you know, nine micron emulsion. Boom, now you got your nine in there. And you can decide which one you wanna take with you, you know? Um, Technically, because of the magnet, you could even, this way? Well, that would have been cool if it, well, there you go, it kind of sticks to it. I mean, you could come out, you know, rubber banded or something, but um, obviously you don't have to have multiples, but you could take the one that you use the most or the most generic one, leave it in here, and then you have your other one set aside, right? And you don't even really need to have this. You could literally just use this, right? Um, but it's a really cool strop. So again, you just open it, and this isn't like coming out of there. Flip it over, and now you can Stropity, stropity. Drop it on the floor. Razor sharp. Now, it was already razor sharp. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, really cool item from Peter, uh, or Pete, sorry. Uh, not sure what his uh, full name is. I know it's, I believe it's um, Eastern European. So it's like Petru, but I don't know how to say that right. So I just did on accident but i think it's pete uh thank you dude very much i will tag his instagram down below i don't know if he's selling these as of yet or if he plans to but very cool so thank you dude then we have one from lancelot leather which i believe also has a strop in it but primarily yeah all right so I ordered a uh, clip slip. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's very nice. Very, very nice. Covering that, right? Yep. So this is a clip slip from Joe over at Lancelot Leather. So big shout out to Joe. And uh, this is dark brown with navy. And then it has his uh, Lynch clip on it. So Lynch actually is making him clips for his clip slips, which is really cool. Um, the clip does bend up quite a bit. That's interesting. Now that's not gonna be a concern in your hand. Uh, I have my low drag on me, so let's see. Fits extremely well in there. There's your low drag in the slip. Just peel it back, pull it out. Let's see how it feels in pocket with that clip. Goes over the pocket pretty well. I have thick pants on, but very strong retention, which is good. Let me see on this regular seam how it fits. Yeah, there we go, nice and tight. Yeah, uh, I like it a lot. I, I don't know how much I love this, this ramp. This is obnoxious. <laughs> It's crazy, right? It almost looks like it was bent up on accident a little bit. I wonder if I could bend it down a little, but like on your pants, when you're wearing it, it looks 
it looks silly. Like you, I guess it, maybe it's there so you can hook it. Oh, so you can use your finger and like just put it behind here and hook it and it'll pull the clip out, the slip out. So maybe that's the purpose, but um, yeah, that would be my only feedback. I love this thing. Otherwise, this is just a little too obnoxious for me sticking up like that. Um, I don't know if it'll stop me from using it, but I'm just saying there's a little bit of feedback from me, but very cool. Then he also sent me a couple of these straps, which is really cool. Let's check it out. You have a strap right here. It has two sides. So it says one and two, I believe. Well, they look a little different. Yeah, I don't know if one side is uh, a different coarseness or something. This one definitely feels smooth. Uh, yeah, maybe a little bit. I don't know. They could just be labeled so that you know, you know. Um, but that's awesome. So these are little uh, hangable straps, which is really cool. Um, you know, they're not hard, so... You'd probably want to lay it on something. I don't know how you would do it. You know? So you could put it through your finger like this, and then... Yeah, I don't know how you would come back on it. Yeah, it works. Um, but you could probably just lay it on a table, you know what I mean? But the point is, it's kind of uh, transportable. You could hang it off a bag or something like that. So I believe he's selling these now. So definitely check out Lancelot Leather. Uh, EDCRoundTable.com is where you can pick up his stuff. Thank you, Joe. Um, I paid for the slip. He sent me these uh, uh, straps. I believe I'm giving away one of these straps. So stay tuned for a Lefty Live for that. And then we have this slip man it feels just absolutely wonderful this slip yeah that feels excellent dude great work on that all right last one and again this could be anything i don't know what's in here okay so it's another pen um so I reached out to a company. In this case, I reached out to them. The company is called Studio Neat. And um, yes, they sent me one of their pens, the Mark I. And then they also sent me uh, a couple of their notepads, the Tote Book Mini. Uh, that's cool. So um, I'll probably show these in the, um, well, I'll open it, but I was just trying to keep everything kind of in the truck these are nice oh there's like stickers you could label them if you want that's pretty cool so it's got a nice leather cover that feels phenomenal wow um it does not it has like this dotted paper so it must be for some purpose i never liked that paper because i don't i don't really get the point of it um graph paper i guess for certain things but it's not lines you know so that'd be my only downside to this otherwise i love it um the feeling is yeah it's really nice it's got a little ruler in the back um sizing some other stuff like that Got a little field guide type thing. So that's cool. And then we have the Mark I. And the reason I asked them about this is because I am on the hunt. I am on the hunt for a premium click pen. Like a click pen that is premium and good. And it is impossible to find. It really is. So we have a click pen. Yes. So here it is, just a black, I believe, aluminum case with a nickel colored, I don't know if it's nickel, but they call it nickel, clicker. 
and you can see it works phenomenal now how do you replace the uh refill i don't see a seam anywhere oh look at that you oh shit okay careful kev so you unscrew the back this feels like plastic it might just be uh stainless and then out comes your refill and i did not check to see if this will take parkers so that would be unfortunate but order more refills so you can order refills from them so the refill slides in there then you have this sort of uh yeah it seems like it's metal it's just very all right now i gotta figure out how to get it back in so i just tightened it clicked it hey so there's a little bit of rattle in there, and I'm guessing that's part of just having a click pen, right? Um, tip exposure, solid. Um, let's see how they write. Is it a gel or is it a ballpoint? So it is a gel, but it does write very well. So I'm gonna see if I can swap this out for a Parker. But it's really good. Yeah. I mean, it's what I was looking for. Trying to find something more premium in a clicker. And it's just hard to find. So this is sick. Awesome. Thank you to Studio Neat. I do have an affiliate link uh, with them. And I will start linking that down below. You can check in the description. And uh, you may see that Bastion pen one too, because I really like that as well. So some cool pens today. And uh, strops and all types of goodies. So let me know what you guys think down below. That is it for the random unboxing today in the truck. I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. I'm gonna go have a nice dinner with my wife. Catch you later. Peace.